the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 201, Joel 1-3, to Joel's dream and vision. The way of life the people of Israel were to choose in front of the imminent day of the Lord was to tear their hearts sincerely, repent, and come before God. First point, through the prophet Joel, God proclaimed that South Judas, this array, would turn into God's day. It is assumed that Prophet Joel ministered during the times of King Joash, but the exact period of his ministry is unknown. Joel declared that South Judah would face immense punishment if they did not repent. If they turned from their sins and repented, God would grant his mercy and let them live under his rule. Joel cried for the sins of the people, as well as for the people to repent. He was full of sadness for the people, as they did not have the heart to listen. He was sad, as God's heart was full of sadness. Second point, Joel prayed whilst thinking about the coming of God's day. Joel declared fasting prayer for the people, whilst telling them, that the Lord's day was approaching. Although they could not escape their punishment, Joel still told the people to come together at a time of national emergency. Joel explained to the people that they were not to try and solve the grasshopper disaster through wisdom, but by acknowledging that the Lord's day was coming. Things were about to get a lot more serious than grasshoppers. The reason for their punishment was due to their constant sins. God punished the people in hopes that they would repent. God therefore sent Joel to them with hope. Joel declared that the people should fast and pray to God leading up to his judgment. Third point. Joel told the people that no one would be able to escape God's day, and so they were not to rip their robes, but leather their hearts. God declared through Joel that his day was approaching. No one would be able to escape God's judgment on this day. Joel told the people to stand before God and to repent. He told them to fast, cry, lament, and repent. He furthermore told them to rip their hearts and to return to God. Tearing the ropes here symbolized the lamenting. Tearing the ropes is recorded a few times in the Bible. To look at five examples, Jacob tore his ropes when he heard that Joseph died. Aaron's two sons, Nadab and Abihu, died, and Moses told Aaron not to tear his ropes or to show sadness. Caleb tore his robes in Kadesh Barnea after spying on Canaan. Joshua tore his robes when the Israelites were unsuccessful at the Battle of Ai. David tore his robes after hearing the death of Saul. But to the people of South Judah, Joel told them not only to rip their robes, but to tear their hearts. This way, perhaps God would have mercy on them. Fourth point. Joel proclaimed that whoever called to God would be given salvation, and this was later reported to by Peter and St. Paul. Joel told every single person to fast and to repent. To the priests, he told them to have pity on the people and to pray for them. The priests were to pray for God's mercy on the people for God's protection, and also that the foreign nations would not ridicule them. As such, Joel declared that those who fasted and truly repented before God would be able to receive his mercy. 
That's mercy involved the people overcoming their fear and driving away their enemies. It also involved the God's abundance and His restoration. They would be able to live whilst singing His praise. God would forever be their God. God also promised them His salvation. Fifth point. God's judgment was His management of the world and furthermore a symbol of His love for the entire world. God told Joel to listen for the final judgment. God used the image of their harvest being trampled and the buds becoming overflown to symbolize the day of judgment. This was used again in Revelation. However, Joel declared that God's final day of judgment would also be the day of salvation. Satan is continued for God as sins became repeated in South Judah. What God wanted was for them to repent and to become God's people. God not only wanted this for the people of South Judah, but also for the whole world, because He has love for all nations. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.